Hey guys, Superhorrorbro Mike here, and in today's video, we are playing World of Horror. Now this is a sort of point and click visual novel style horror game based on the art style of Junji Ito, who is a very famous manga sort of horror artist who I'm a big fan of. And the creator of this game has also been highly influenced by the cosmic horror of H.P. Lovecraft and his sort of uh, horror fiction. So this should be a good time. I've been very excited to play this. This game was actually on my top 15, you know, most anticipated horror games of uh, 2020 video that I made recently and the developer has been very kind and given me a code to play it so I wouldn't normally cover a game like this on my channel but I thought you know what today let's just dive in let's see what this game's all about if you guys want to check it out I'll leave a link below to the early access version on Steam which releases later this week it's also coming later in the year I think to Switch PlayStation 4 and I believe Xbox One as well so I probably won't do a full series on this but this is gonna be like a one-off first look at the game and if you guys are interested I might do a video looking at the whole story of the game once I've finished it on my own time but with that said let's dive in and see what World of Horror is all about. If it's your first time playing World of Horror, it's recommended that you start the spine-chilling story of School Scissors option before trying more complex playthroughs. Ah, so there's lots of different stories and each one gets more complex. Fair enough, so let's play the spine-chilling story of School Scissors then. A tiny section of a standard playthrough showcasing one of the available mysteries. Alright, let's check it out. So this is the city of Shiokawa in Japan, 1980-something. Something strange is happening in our town. Robed figures can be seen gathering in the woods at night, and people are going missing. Disgusting creatures are terrorising the seaside. Well, that's weird. The rapid technological progress of the modern era brings comfort, but also new unknown threats. Old gods, malicious eldritch beings who ruled the earth eons ago, are awakening as reality starts to crumble. Armed with clues, spells and your dwindling sanity, you'll investigate mysteries across the city and in the realms beyond. An old train slows down and stops at its last station. The end of a world is at hand and you finally arrived in the doomed town. Right, here we go then. So we're playing as this guy here, I guess. The story so far, we can click that. You've been following the weird cult for weeks now, barely surviving the encounter with the skin hag at the nursery. It's a race against time, and you can't rest until our town is safe. Solve the mystery, okay. Spine-chilling story of school scissors. Another boy from your school has disappeared. Rumour has it a terrible woman has returned from the grave. A woman with the widest smile and the sharpest scissors. That's kind of creepy. You knew your friend was up to something when he left you with his notebook full of cryptic notes. I can send her back where she belongs, he claimed. After he disappeared too, you decided to study the notebook for clues. It details a ritual that can stop the wicked woman once and for all. What's the worst thing that could happen? Well, pretty sure if she's got scissors, there's many bad things that could happen, but let's dive in, I guess. All right, so it says the school is eerily quiet at this hour. Your missing friend has left you with a notebook. If the rumors are true, to stop the tall woman with scissors, you'll need to perform a ritual to force her material form to appear in our dimension. Now, accompanying this requires first drawing of an eldritch signal and then the lighting of holy candles. You can only hope your friend has left them somewhere around the school. Ah, so we can access our storage by clicking here. So we've got our friend's diary. I don't know if we can read that or anything. Of course, it's written backwards because in, J in Japan they work from like back to front instead of front to back. So on the 14th it says, Maru is acting strange. I need to talk with her after class. I hope she didn't attempt the ritual herself. 15th, I've hidden the candles in one of our classrooms. Tomorrow I'll try to perform a ritual. Then 17th's all crossed out. I guess they tried to perform a ritual and it went wrong. Uh, this sigil can weaken the demon for a while. Uh, careful with the line. Ah, so we can see that that is the sigil we'll need there to weaken the demon. Okay, good to know. Okay, explore the school, perform a ritual, check out the lockers. Do I want to perform the ritual straight away? I don't think so. Because before we can do the ritual, we need a drawing of an eldritch, eldritch sigil and then light the holy candle. So let's explore the school. Investigating the library, okay. 
you find an old trophy case set in a seemingly abandoned corridor. Everything inside is covered in a thick layer of dust. One medal seems particularly valuable. Hmm. Do I break the window and grab it? Needs tiny key item. I don't know if we should break the window and grab it. Screw it, I've done it. You break the glass window, cutting yourself a little bit in the process. The medal isn't made of gold, but you'll be able to sell it easily. Oh great, so we harmed ourselves, but we got a gold medal to sell. I don't know who we're going to sell it to. Resolve this event. You feel like something horrible is happening within the school, and you must hurry and find those items. Okay. I guess explore the school some more then. So we're going to the library now. What the heck is this? We've got a like, face there. Oh my god, that's so creepy, what the heck? Something evil stalks the empty school corridors. You found an additional page for your friend's diary. It seems that the blessed chalk was left in the pool. You must hurry and find it. Okay, what's the friend's diary saying now then? Um, it says I found an additional page, but I, I can't see anything extra. I'm probably missing something obvious here, I don't know. Let's peek outside and see if that monster's still here. Oh my god, what the heck? There is, look, there's a little creature up there. Uh, okay. Um, explore the school some more then. We're going to the gym next. You entered the damp smelling sport wing. You noticed a backpack drifting on a swimming board in the middle of a pool. Could it be what you're looking for? Ooh, maybe. Let's enter the water and find out. You entered the pool and start swimming towards the backpack. Suddenly the water turns murky and you realise you're not alone in the pool. We've got to prepare for combat, guys. Okay, so this is going to be the first fight. There's something in the pool with us. A bloated figure emerges from the murky water, blocking your only way out of the pool. Ugh. Bloated teacher, okay. Um, what do we do? Offensive actions. Support actions. Um, I guess we slice him, maybe? Do we slice him? Fill the combat sequence with moves and click launch sequence. Ah. Kick. I haven't got any equipped weapon, so I just guess we just kick him some more. And then launch sequence. Ah, here we go. So we kicked him loads. Turn 2 begins. Defensive actions. Dodge. Alright, I'll dodge him. I'm, I don't know what I've done, guys. Turn 3 begins. What's he doing now? I guess we just, like, keep kicking him, maybe? Can we kick him? He sort of seems to have ducked now. Let's, let's try. Oh, he's dodged. Yeah, so that didn't do anything. Okay, so I'm going to just go with defensive uh, actions. Look for an improvised weapon. And... I guess we could also dodge. Launch sequence. I'm going to look for an improvised weapon. Uh, oh, I found a new item, a branch. Nice. Okay, so let's see if we can use a branch then. I guess we just kick him some more, right? There we go. Resolve combat. Nice, we did it. I think I've got a bit sliced up though. Look at my face. So he obviously um, damaged me a little bit as well during the process. Uh, I've sustained a new injury. Bloated. Great, okay. So um, you found the blessed chalk which can be used to draw the sigil in your ritual. You copy the sigil as best you can on the blackboard. Hopefully it will be enough. So we can see it there. We've copied the sigil. So now all we need are those candles. So I guess like access our storage. Um, oh, bloated it says here as well. These are the dam these, are, these are the injuries we've taken. So it says something is moving inside your stomach. Oh no, I feel sick. Can we get like rid of that? Available actions. We don't have anything to heal with. Great, so we're just like unwell at the moment. We need to try and find something to heal ourselves. I don't know how we do that. I guess we explore the school some more maybe? Going to the library again. You hear a faint sound while walking outside the bio uh, biology classroom. Inside is an old anatomy model. It's heart beating. 
The sight almost makes you sick. Oh, I've lost one stamina. Great. Resolve this event. The sound of scissors is getting louder. You must hurry. Oh, no. So we've only got three stamina left now, guys. Have I got any items that I can use to heal with? Okay, so let's explore the school some more to look for those candles that we need. As you enter the school gym, you notice a strange black doll propped up against a wall. Oh, it needs an anatomy class perk to do that action. Okay, we'll go closer then. Against your better judgement, you approach the doll, and what you see makes you gasp in horror. <gasps> the doll isn't a doll. Your sudden movement causes the tiny black spi spiders to flee, revealing a white half-eaten corpse. Oh, we lose two reason for that. So we have to resolve the event, I guess. Um, okay, resolve this event. You found the holy candles in your friend's backpack. You lit them as instructed by the notebook. Everything is ready for the ritual. Ooh, nice. Let's perform the ritual then. Wait. What's that? Oh no, it's at the door, look! What is that? It's the woman! The scissor, the scissor woman. The sigil on holy candles don't seem to have any effect on the horrible monster. Had you drawn it wrong? Frozen in fear, you watch as the twitching horror gets closer and closer. It raises its enormous scissors and croaks, Am I beautiful? No, you're ugly. Sorry to say, I've got to prepare for combat now. Twisting and twitching, the demon woman enters the classroom. Right, let's do this then, I guess. Here she is. Um, Alright. So, let's... Attack. Attack. And then maybe, can we defend? Right, let's launch a sequence. I think we'll just have to attack on the first go. Oh. What happened? I don't get why I keep taking damage. I just attacked her, right? She's got 23 health power. Uh, let's try... Let's try dodging on the next one. Frozen in fear, you watch as she gets closer. Her sharp scissors are slowly cutting through your cheeks as she asks you, Am I beautiful? No! What the heck? Uh, you've perished. Cause of death. Killed by the scissor woman. Level 1. Difficulty level cultist. What? I don't get it. My playthrough lasted 14 minutes 44 seconds. In this run, you didn't complete any mystery, you saw six new events, you encountered two new enemies, and you unlocked one new achievement. So basically guys, I've got to like learn this combat system and how it works, because at the moment I have no idea how I was meant to like avoid stuff, how I was meant to tell if she was like attacking me. Um, but it doesn't seem very clearly explained to me like how the combat system in this game works. But with that said, this has been a look at World of Horror, and I'm definitely going to play this game on my own time. It seems very interesting. It's definitely a good game. It has a really cool art style. I think it's amazing that it was made, I think mostly or if not completely by just one person. And all the art was done, as I said, I think in Microsoft Paint, which is crazy. The look of the game is just phenomenal. The soundtrack's really cool. I love the 80s chiptune style soundtrack it has going for it. I like the way that it has that trial and error of gameplay. I think it's quite a short game, but it kind of demands replayability because I think each time you go into the game, you can get different experiences and different encounters and no two play playthroughs are exactly the same so even though you've seen kind of like most of the first investigation I think in this video uh, although we failed at the end if you played at a different time it would have a different content it would have different monsters and all that so I think this is a really promising game I would definitely recommend it I'm going to be playing it some more on my own time and I will learn that combat system and next time I play it hopefully be a bit better at facing the bosses in the game learning how to heal how to avoid attacks and all that stuff but with that said guys this has been a look at world of horror today and one of the early missions in the game. If you did enjoy the video today, please remember to like, comment and subscribe and I will see you all on the next video.